Okay. So I've got a bit of a prototype chunk loading system at the moment. If I uh, hit play, I've got it set to only 50 meters per block. Here we are. So if I go from the height, right now I've got the height randomized and it's just a bunch of cubes, but uh, in the when I get time, I'm going to make it actually load different models, but there we go. It basically loads these little segmented blocks. And after a while, it will unload the old ones. So because the height's randomized again, it will forget what the blocks were shaped like. There we are. So basically, imagine you're like the little player just walking around essentially this is how the map will uh, get loaded for the new builds of course this is requiring a huge rewrite of the whole code base of the genocide engine but this basically allows really big maps um, but yeah this is what it looks like at 50 meters render distance doesn't look great because the uh, I've got the rendering set to a thousand so if I change it to 500 meter blocks which is what I'll use for the actual um, production okay so now we got the actual fog effect going on but yeah, even if I go full full fast mode which you probably won't even be able to get to this speed unless you're in a jet it still still runs okay you can probably just see like the pop in just barely but for the most part it looks very seamless but yeah on ground you'll be just like walking you know doing your thing um, so yeah so of course if I have to um, have each chunk as its own little model I'm gonna have to build some kind of chunk editor uh, where you can put like I don't know pre-made assets like traffic lights, pieces of road, grass, buildings, um, spread them all, plot them all around, maybe like, I don't know, the tool gun on Gary's model or something, just go dong, 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 place, place, place the speed limit over there, you know, some cool signs and stuff when you're making a little open world, and uh, once you hit saves, it just compiles that whole thing into one single model, um, so yeah, I, I think... I think I'm on the right track here. This is requiring a huge rewrite of the genocide engine. It's going to take a huge delay to get it back to where it was. Um, but it's kind of needed. I was having some issues where if I placed too many of those Alvin NPCs or the smart ones with all the collusions, they were just... Yeah, when you had like about 50 enemies on a map, it was starting to really bog down the CPU usage. And I reckon if I had like a full map of hundreds of NPCs, which is what I wanted, it's just not going to run so yeah but that's this little infinite worlds demo i guess um but yeah pretty nifty